So children will be encouraged not to touch each other or members of staff where possible. Older children will be encouraged to stay two metres away from other children or staff when playing outside. However, it's very difficult for us to guarantee social distancing 100% of the time, especially with our younger children from reception and say year one. That said, we know that the transmission of the virus between children is usually less than in adults, even with black and minority ethnic children, um, where we recognise the risk to black and minority ethnic adults is increased. The science suggests that the risk to children is broadly the same no matter what ethnic group they're from. Um, so maintaining class or year group bubbles that do not mix will mean that we can minimise interactions as much as possible. And within these bubbles, children will be encouraged to keep their distance as much as possible. We'll have enhanced risk assessments in place for the whole school. And where necessary, we will have individual risk assessments for children if they've got a pre-existing health condition. Um, and that will usually be something a little bit more severe than, say, asthma that's well managed or something like that. Usually where they've got a heart condition or something like that or cancer or something quite serious. Children with special educational needs will be able to meet with specialist teachers, therapists and clinicians in school as long as social distancing can be maintained, but we will be encouraging those meetings to take place via Zoom or Skype where possible. Um, records will be kept of all visitors to school to ensure that we're compliant with the NHS track and trace system as well.